saying when we walked in, I'm, you know, this might be the nicest studio I've ever seen in ever. my entire life. I mean, Isn't it's it? amazing. Yes. Yeah. I Ken and I say, we ain't leaving. The no. Vikings don't know, we ain't leaving. Well, I mean, I wouldn't leave either. It's, no. it's just incredible. And we got a nice tour of the facilities, which it's, I was just blown away. It's, it's, it's a mecca. I mean, it is a football mecca. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Yeah. Just running around, you know, still alive and kicking and you know, touring with the group. I was going to say, you're doing a little more than just being alive. <laughs> Let's be good. So you got back, because I interviewed you. Uh, 98 Degrees uh, swung through Minneapolis for a couple shows. I interviewed you then. Yep. And you're doing a new group, which we'll talk about. How did... How did you guys get back together? Or did you guys ever really break up? We, we didn't officially break up, but we all took a, like a long break. Yeah. You know, we had so many years consistently working on the road and it was pretty crazy. It was a whirlwind. So, uh, you know, after about five years on the road, uh, you know, 9-11 happened the night before. We were in New York doing this big special for uh, Michael Jackson. And 9-11 happened the next day and we all went home and we just never got back together after that. Are you serious? Yeah, it was sort of like, you know, uh, the end of 98 degrees at that particular time. We didn't know what was going to happen in the world. And we were tired. We'd been on the road forever. We wanted to get back to our families. And, you know, one, one year turned into another, and then it turned into 10 and 11. And then finally, you know, we missed each other and missed, uh, you know, making music, to get, music together. We missed the fans we have out here. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and then, you know, we got back together. And it is, and as you know, it's all about timing. You pick the perfect time. There has been, you know where I'm going, there is a resurgence yeah. of late 90s boy band. People yeah. love it. I mean, thank God. Uh, thank God. Because look, I mean, there was some, you know, we had that explosion. And then look, people decide they, they want to yeah. have different music and they grow out of it. It's and, cyclical at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it was really, you know, we, I ended up having, you know, did a ton of stuff behind the scenes, produced some TV stuff, music for other people, but really missed performing. Yeah. And thank God it came back around. The fans, you know, are embracing us more than ever now. And, you know, we're, yeah. we're, we, we were just here, like, sold out a show at Mystic yeah. Lake here, which was incredible. And, you know, glad to be back here, you know, tonight and tomorrow and, and, and doing all that jazz here in Minneapolis. And you're going to meet uh, Jeff's other band because he's not busy enough with 98 Degrees. <laughs> he has a whole other, a, a whole other a separate band. Uh, and by the way, how the hell do you still look so good? Oh, I geez. mean, Mike, you haven't I aged at guy. all. So, you haven't aged at uh, all. Too kind. You know what? You're not leaving, and I'm not either. I'm here I know, for the I long mean, haul, folks. You it's, uh, he hasn't aged a that's bit. That's too kind. I, 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 you know, I, I feel like I've aged. You no, know? no. You know what skin cream do oh, you geez. use? Uh, <laughs> no. No. I, I mean, I, you know, look. Part of, as you know, yeah. is is the is your image and your yep. look, and unfortunately, that's that's a, as big a part, if yep. not more, than the music and your talent and all that stuff. So you got to keep up with it. Could you imagine? And then I have a surprise for you. Uh, do you can you imagine what it would have been like for you guys had social media been around? No, it, it, I, I was just talking about, about that yeah. the other day. I mean, some of the stuff that we saw and you know did and all that stuff. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm I mean, I'm afraid for these guys nowadays. Yeah. I mean, you really have no privacy, and we felt like back then we didn't have any privacy. But everybody's got a camera. Everybody can get stuff out there quickly and virally, and you really have to watch everything. You, Without you know, context right. or background. That's right. They I mean, can put it out, and and you have no control over. Well, it. your life is in bites now, and yeah. and, mm. and so you know uh, that's completely different. Don't don't know whether we could have handled it. I mean, we would have been exponentially bigger and more successful, yeah. I think. But with that comes a lot a of sacrifice. Uh, uh, because now it's it's layers yeah. of of exposure, not the good like layers. You're exposed on social media. You're expo It's it's a whole new world. Well, you, you know it. I mean, yeah. you're in front of the camera, you, you really can't be human. You have to really everything has to be measured and carefully thought out. Which look, you know, it's good in a way. You have to yeah. be on your best behavior. You have to really be measured and think things yeah, through. Yeah, you can't be robbing convenience yeah, that's stores. That's right. Yeah, you can't yeah. do anything crazy or impulsive. Uh, but you know, at the same time, it is tough. I, I really feel for these guys and, and celebrities nowadays that are. It, you know, in the spotlight and, and sort of experiencing the same stuff we did back then, but, you know, again, exponentially with all yeah. the socials. Speaking of robbing convenience stores, we have an executive producer back at uh, Fox 9, <laughs> and uh, I'm kidding. Your criminal record's been cleared. Uh, <laughs> they expunged it. Yeah, uh, now, we are all about the same age, and her name is Lori Fisher, and uh, when we start, we, we grew up in television together, and we went to all of your concerts together when we were all uh, of the uh, younger, and Lori is now a big-time executive producer. 
uh, the sun rises and sets on you guys. I love it. And we have a, uh, a Jeff, if you look at the monitor right there, Lori is back at Fox 9 headquarters. Hi, and, Jeff. And there she is right there. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Lori. How are you? I'm good. Jeff. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm great. Thank you for having me and supporting us all these years and having me on today for, for overnight and all that well, stuff. I really appreciate it. I was hoping it. you were going to be at the station because I tried so hard to get you on last month yeah, or no, when you guys we, were here at yeah. Mystic Lake, which I did Are a review. Are you shitting your guest, Lori? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's incredible. Look, I really wanted to come on, and the guys wanted to come on. Our schedule was crazy, and I'm not just trying to big time you. It really was. I know, I but, know. You guys you know, are big time. But, but I did. But I was telling somebody back, I think I was telling, uh, I forget who I was telling backstage, I did ignore you recently because you asked me to join you in a spin class. And yeah. I'm like, didn't see that message. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow so, morning. No, Lord. So, I was just uh, going to say, I'm not, <laughs> no. I'm not a stalker. I'm not a stalker. I am the boy band reporter for The Jason Show, so it's all research. When I'm like contacting right. you and That's stuff, right. of course. No, I had a quick question, it's though, for good. you. Sure. Watching Instagram and everything, like Jason said, we're around the same age and everything. How do you manage boy band life? And like, we want good marriages and happy kids and a good career. How do you manage all that? Well, this is going to sound like a canned answer, but I've got an amazing wife. Like awesome. she handles everything. She helps That's me nice. with the kids. That's not a canned answer. She, That's not, she, yeah. she takes care of all the stuff that I can't can't take care of because there's no way I could be traveling all, all this time and do, you know, I have a lot of other ventures that I'm involved with and I couldn't do any of it without her. So that's a great question. And a great I answer. really, she's changed my whole life. Yeah. So uh, you can't do it without the support system for sure. Uh, now, Lori, speaking of spouses, I hear you made, you had an unusual deal arrangement with your husband uh, that okay. involved, <laughs> uh, yeah. So when I first started, <laughs> okay, thanks, Ted. When I first started dating my husband, Sean, I had a poster up of 98 Degrees in my apartment bedroom that I got at the Mall of America. And he said, like, he's cool if, like, if I ever had to, like, go out for coffee or whatever with, with another guy, it could be 98 Degrees. Like, that's cool. Because oh, cool. he thinks... So coffee. Here's the, here's the deal. Coffee? Wait, here's you guys <laughs> seem like cool guys. Like, we can go to Applebee's and, like, have a beer or... Like, you well, guys just seem hey, so relatable. Like, we could all be best friends. Well, Jeff, well, I'm sorry. She's, I, I I mean, she's, uh, she's out of control. <laughs> I, I'm cool no. with it. Yeah. We, we can, we, we can figure it all out. Guys. You just asked Jeff Timmons to Applebee's. I love it. <laughs> they're, they're, Applebee's has, like, that chicken thing. The with chicken it. salad. Yeah, yes, the chicken yeah. salad. I think I, they have I mean, good uh, margaritas. No, okay. Do you like margaritas? Lori, and we're down. <laughs> You know, we, that's what we, you know, we want it to come across like we're, we're next guys next door. We're from the Midwest. We're yeah. from Ohio. So we've always, you know, we've gotten to do great, cool things and, and all the superstar stuff. But we wanted people to know we're relatable. Yep. And I would love, the, you know, Applebee's, Chili's, uh, Jeff, whatever. Don't I know. Well, can I say one more thing? Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah. No, we're, that, we're, 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 no one more thing. No, Ted, okay, come so, back into the shot, Ted. No, Ted. I, was, I was third row at the concert and that's, you just... <laughs> Ted. You do seem so relatable, and you pay attention to all your fans, and you get back to them on Instagram and Twitter and everything. I just think it's so great. Uh, I'm glad you noticed that. I mean, and again, we're, I'm we're, not a stalker. We're, so lucky. we're lucky to do it. You said Can, that three times. Okay, but real quick, one more thing. Could you we sing "Invisible Man" to me right now? <laughs> oh man, "Invisible Man." Yeah. Okay. I, I wish you looked you at me look that at way. Beautiful eyes looking deep. <laughs> Baby, to you. Ted, oh, I beg you to come back, please, Ted. I wish right you there. look at me that way. Okay. <laughs> 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 More with Jeff Timmons when we you return, everybody. Oh, you. my God. <laughs> the home of the Minnesota Vikings. Jeff Timmons back with us. By the way, by the way, audience, so we just got word Lori's been taken to HCMC. <laughs> yeah, so we'll check in with her condition a little bit later. Now, as I said at, at the top of our interview, Jeff isn't just doing 98 Degrees. You have another band, too. Yes, I put together this group of guys. These guys are amazingly talented. They can sing. They dance. They're a boy band tribute group called Overnight. I, I, I love this. I love this idea. Well, you know, look, I had hosted a couple of these nights. I did one in New York, one in Winnipeg, I think, and they had some talented guys, but they were a little 
little bit older, and but you know, people turned out for them in droves because they want to see people sing their favorite songs, yeah. right? It, it's sort of like a mixtape, uh, a live mixtape, yeah. right? So I put together these guys. I, it took me a long time to find the right guys. I wanted to find guys that could sing, of course, dance, good-looking guys, of course. But for, for me, it was all about personality. Yeah. They had to have great yes. personalities. And fortunately for me, these guys, um, you know, they came out and we put them together. Let's go down the line and introduce yourselves. Okay. My name is Eric, and I'm from Las Vegas. My name is Ilya. I'm from Boston. I'm originally from Morocco. My name is Jordan, and I am from Canada, the Great White North. That's right. Yeah. We the North. My name is Kyle. I'm from Boston as well. Well, Kyle, I'll, I'll, let me start with you. What is it like? I mean, this is like you're getting lessons from Obi-Wan Kenobi here of the Roy <laughs> Band world. I mean, right. what, 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 what's, it, what's it like working with Absolutely, this guy? Absolutely, yeah. Our grandpa mentor, he's been so great. <laughs> <laughs> no! You guys did not! Wait, wait, wait. Did he's I say good not... person? Kyle? <laughs> Kyle, another comment like that, and Lori will cut you. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, no, it's been amazing. I mean, he's obviously a legend. He's taught us so much. Uh, we spent two months in a house together, and it was just an incredible experience. Two months? Oh, that's like a re I mean, that was a re Why it, didn't you do a reality show? You that's know what? We thought about it after the fact. It was like, why did we bring cameras in here? Because literally, these guys were thrown together, and they didn't know each other. Yeah. And they're all, all their personalities are amazing, like I said, but they're completely different. And so we, you know, the, the getting them and, and putting a group together like that, it was a, you know, O-Town, they knew they were going to be on TV. So, you know, people yeah. are a little more prepared for that. These guys weren't. So watching them grow and meld together and, and, and sort of develop their sound together was pretty amazing. A question for anyone, whoever wants to take it. Best advice Obi-Wan's given you? Wow. Uh, that's, that's, that's a tough one. I... Every single day we get something new from him, so it's it's. I mean, I, we just have to file through. I'm it's, sure they're sick of it. Yeah. No, oh, we're never, no, no, we're never, no, we're never, never sick of it. Never sick of it. Um, I think the one of the biggest things he said was just make sure you're having fun with it. No doubt. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's got the audience sees. Yes. Yeah. The audience can pick because it up. Because if you're not having fun with it, you're not going to enjoy it. And then you know what's the point? You know, you yeah. got to make sure you love what you're doing, and and uh, clearly he does, and he's passed it on to us. And. What What's the most important thing that you wanted to pass on to them? Well, I, I think, again, have fun, um, but be yourself, too. Yeah. You know, look, uh, you, nowadays, can spot especially, a phony. especially yes. people get, they have so much going on and uh, so many things at their disposal. You know, they can tell. And so, you know, look, my whole thing is have your personality, be professional, have fun. Uh, and, you know, you know and, and try to grow with, uh, you know, as your career grows. And you're here tonight. Tell them about the show tonight. Uh, the show's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, that's tomorrow. right. It's yeah. at the Poor House uh, in, in Minneapolis downtown. And you can get your tickets at Poor House. Uh, MP, MPLS.com. The Poor House. Thank you. That's I'm, right. I've yeah. gotten it wrong so I, many oh, times. Oh, no, I got it. <laughs> and, uh, if we get Lori out of HCMC, she'll be there as well. That's right. Give it up for the guys, everybody. Thank you guys. Overnight. Again, if you want tickets, go to the poorhouse MPLS.com. We'll put this whole thing on Facebook a little bit later. Go get tickets. And if you missed it, don't forget, we put all of our full episodes on YouTube. Just search for The Jason Show TV. One more time for Overnight. Thank Jeff you. Timmons, everybody. Thank we'll you. be right back to right